We all hear that it is important to have our diet requirements met daily as it helps us to achieve a healthy life. Now vitamin B1 is one of these important dietary needs, with the recommended daily value of it being 1.5 milligrams. But have you ever wondered what vitamin B1 is good for? Now vitamin B1, which also is known as thiamine, has many health benefits. It plays an important role in the health of the brain and nervous system, with studies showing that it increases memory and brain function while reducing epilepsy and Alzheimer's disease. It plays a crucial role in providing energy for the body and helps to maintain a healthy heart. Furthermore, it aids in digestion and production of red blood cells. Thiamine is part of the B complex vitamins, meaning it works well together with all other B vitamins, helping each other to get absorbed. So with the many health benefits of thiamine, what are some good food sources of it? Well, oats, sunflower seeds, navy beans, nutritional yeast, and black beans are some of the top foods high in thiamine. One cup of oats having 57% of your daily value. A quarter cup of sunflower seeds has 50%. One cup of navy beans has 44%, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast has 30%, while one cup of black beans having 28 Some other sources include macadamia nuts, flax seeds, lentils and green peas. Macadamia nuts are one of the highest nut sources on the list, with a handful having 21%. One tablespoon of flax seeds has 16%, half a cup of lentils has 12%, and half a cup of green peas having 11%. To throw on some fruit, we have one medium-sized orange having about 10% and half a cup of pineapple having 7 while a dozen asparagus stalks and a cup of brown rice having about 9%. Lastly, we have one teaspoon of grounded up cumin having 2%. Now vitamin B2, which is also known as riboflavin, is one of these important dietary needs, with the recommended daily value of it being 1.7 milligrams. It is interesting to note that too much of this vitamin consumed has an odd side effect of turning your urine bright yellow. This is why the name riboflavin has the word flavin in it, which comes from the Latin word flavos, meaning yellow. Well, as riboflavin is part of the B complex vitamins, it aids in producing energy for the body, and thus helps prevent and cure anemia. It is vital for growth of body tissue and organs, which makes it important during pregnancy, it helps to have healthy skin, nails and hair, and especially healthy eyes, thus preventing eye problems such as loss of visual acuity and cataract formation. Studies have even been showing it aiding and preventing certain types of cancer. So with the many health benefits of riboflavin, what are some good food sources of it? Well, soybeans, almonds, sweet potato, nutritional yeast and sun-dried tomatoes are some of the top foods high in riboflavin. One cup of cooked soybeans has 27% of your daily value. A handful of almonds and a medium-sized sweet potato has about 24%. A few tablespoons of nutritional yeast has 21%. And a quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes has 12 Some more sources include 65 grams of beet greens and a quarter cup of sunflower seeds, which adds up to about 11% of your daily value. A cup of spinach has 10%, while a cup of broccoli has about 9%. One cup of green beans has 8%, half a cup of asparagus has 7%, and 65 grams of raw collard greens has 5%. Lastly, a half a cup of grapes has about 4%, making it one of the highest fruits in riboflavin. Now vitamin B3, which is also known as niacin, is one of these important dietary needs, with the recommended daily value of it being 20 milligrams. Well, niacin helps reduce bad cholesterol while increasing your good cholesterol thus aiding in preventing strokes and heart attacks. It increases blood flow to skin, which means it helps with cold feet and hands caused by bad circulation, and aids in erectile dysfunction. It helps treat diabetes and pellagra, which is a disease commonly caused by a niacin deficiency. Pellagra is characterized by skin changes, nerve dysfunction, mental disturbances, and diarrhea. Furthermore, this vitamin helps to increase energy levels and aids in digestion and achieving healthy skin. So with the many health benefits of niacin, what are some good food sources of it? Well, peanuts, nutritional yeast and sunflower seeds are some of the highest foods in niacin, with a quarter cup of peanuts having 30% of your daily value, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast has 21%, and a quarter cup of sunflower seeds having 18 
Three small potatoes, a cup of green peas and brown rice all equate to 14% of your daily value. A medium sized avocado and a small sweet potato is not too far behind with about 13%, while a medium sized corn has about 7 A medium sized slice of cantaloupe, two small tomatoes and a medium sized carrot all have about 5% of your daily value and a half a cup of cooked asparagus has about 4%. Panathenic acid is one of these important dietary needs with the recommended daily value of it being 10 milligrams. But you're probably thinking, is panathenic acid even good for me? I mean, this thing sounds kind of dangerous, but you don't need to worry, this isn't a drug. Panathenic acid is just a fancy name for vitamin B5, which is a crucial vitamin that has many health benefits. Panathenic acid is a great vitamin that helps you have healthy skin and hair while preventing aging of the skin and organs and preventing loss and graying of hair as well. Vitamin B5 is needed for maintaining the health of the nervous system and thus prevents nerve damage and pain. It is a key component in metabolism occurring in the body, helping with the formation of fats, carbohydrates and hormones, thus helping fight against stress and mental problems like depression and anxiety. Furthermore, this vitamin helps your body protect itself against the effects of radiation and against fatigue and asthma. So with the many health benefits of panathenic acid, what are some good food sources of it? Well, mushrooms, sweet potatoes and avocados are some of the highest foods in pentathenic acid, with half a cup of shiitake mushrooms being the highest type, adding up to 29% of your daily value, while half a cup of crimini mushrooms having 12%. One sweet potato has 28% of your daily value, and one avocado having about 22. One cup of green peas and lentils has 10% of your daily value, and a quarter cup of sun-dried tomato has 8, while a medium-sized cooked potato has about 7. 100 grams of cooked broccoli, one cooked corn, and a handful of peanuts all have about 6% of your daily value, closely followed by 100 grams of cooked cauliflower, which has about 5%. Some high fruit sources include papaya and raspberries, which has about 2% of your daily value. Pyridoxine, which is just a fancy name for vitamin B6, is one of these important dietary needs with the recommended daily value of it being 2 milligrams. But have you ever wondered what pyridoxine is good for? Well, pyridoxine is a vital vitamin as it is needed for many bodily functions on a daily basis. It has a crucial role in maintaining the level of hormones and brain chemistry in the human body, thus aids in treating and preventing emotional disturbances like depression and moodiness, and neuropsychiatric disorders like epilepsy and migraines. Like vitamin B5, it is a great vitamin that helps you have healthy skin and helps treat skin problems like acne, eczema, dandruff, psoriasis and melanoma. It is vital for proper function of enzymes, thus helps to provide proper functioning of the nervous system and in building up the immunity. Vitamin B6 has a significant role to play in the treatment of premenstrual syndrome occurring in women, as well as preventing nausea and vomiting during pregnancy. Furthermore, it aids in preventing fatigue and the formation of kidney stones. So with the many health benefits of pyridoxine, what are some good food sources of it? or well, sweet potato potatoes, pistachio nuts, bananas and sunflower seeds are some of the highest foods in vitamin B6, with a medium sweet potato having 36% of your daily value. A medium sized potato has 31%, quarter cup of pistachio nuts and a medium sized banana both have about 26%, and a quarter cup of sunflower seeds having 24 A cup of cooked spinach has 22% of your daily value, an avocado has about 20%, and a cup of pinto beans has about 19. To add some more legumes to the mix, we have lentils, which has 18% per cup. Various types of winter squashes and cabbages both have about 16%, closely followed with a cup of green peas, which has 15% of your daily value. 100 grams of broccoli has 10%, while the potent vegetable garlic per clove has 2% of your daily value. Vitamin B7, which is more commonly known as biotin, is one of these important dietary needs with the recommended daily value of it being 30 micromilligrams. But have you ever wondered what biotin is good for? Well, biotin along with other B vitamins is great for maintaining a healthy metabolism as it is needed to convert the food you eat into usable energy. Studies have showed it to help in lowering blood sugar levels in people with diabetes 
and reducing LDL cholesterol levels, thus helping prevent heart disease and stroke. Vitamin B7 is vital for maintaining healthy skin, nails and hair, and can help protect skin from acne, fungal infections, rashes, and severe dryness and cracking. And it also helps prevent hair loss and brittleness of nails. It plays a role in synthesizing hormones, thus aiding in regulating mood, like keeping up a positive mindset and increasing concentration. This vitamin can help in the growth and maintenance of bodily tissues, including help repairing and building muscles. So when your muscles do break down, vitamin B7 works to build back the strength of your muscles and tissues, thus leading to growth. A deficiency in biotin can stunt growth and result in improper development in fetuses and infants, which is why acquiring a healthy amount of this vitamin is crucial during pregnancy and helps to reduce the likelihood of having complications during it. So, with the many health benefits of biotin, what are some good food sources of it? Well, almonds, oats, sweet potato and carrots are some of the highest foods in vitamin B7, with a handful of almonds having 79% of your daily value, a cup of oats having 64%, a cooked medium-sized sweet potato having 38%, and a medium-sized carrot having 25 Next on the list we have avocados and tomatoes, with one each having 23% of your daily value, while a quarter cup of peanuts and one onion has 21%. A quarter cup of the brain food walnuts has 19%. If you like bananas, you are certainly in luck as a medium-sized banana has 13% of vitamin B7. A cup of raspberries has 8% and a cup of cauliflower has 6 So with those health benefits in mind, why not add some of these rich foods to your diet, helping you make that next step to a healthier you. Want to learn more about health? Why not subscribe for more videos?